breakfast at the Sunset Grill. When you're a patron of this restaurant bar, you get to use this pool. Well, cats, I'm just even feral souls in my YouTube darlings. I have made it to Sombrero Beach in Marathon in the Florida Keys. I am enjoying the sunshine and swimming. The water's a bit nippy, but it's a beautiful day here. I'll just give you a look at down the beach this way. This is the Atlantic Ocean. Sorry about the wind. And that's the beach that way. Sunset at Sombrero Beach. And I've been here all day. And uh, I'm in one of the most beautiful places that anyone can be. And my grief hit me today. It just hit me. I mean, you can be somewhere beautiful and you can still feel sadness. Yeah. So, to get myself out of this, I decided to come and put my feet in the water, walk down this beautiful beach, smell the ocean air, and remind myself that I am so lucky to be alive and be healthy and be here. This journey is about healing and finding out who I am at 55 without my family anymore. I still feel like they're with me. Yeah. I just, I just so much. I wish I could phone my mom and dad, tell them where I am. <laughs> and what a beautiful place that I'm in. And that I'm fine and I'm safe. <laughs> They're gone. Everyone. Everyone's gone. <laughs> It is another gorgeous day at Sombrero Beach. Look at this, you know, this is a 
We have a parking lot premiere tonight with my new friend Alexander. Alexander YouTube channel, which I will introduce you all to him and his channel soon. But we're just sitting down here. We've got the bucket out as a table. And uh, let me flip you around. And uh, chairs are set up. We're enjoying sunset at six o'clock. There's going to be a premiere. It's the manatees. And with you guys doing that, watching the sunset. Well, good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. Oh, yes, good morning. Let's see here. We've got a little friend. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy that woke me up. Anyways, I am in Marathon. I have been here for three nights. I still have camped one night up by the Sunset Grill. And then the last two nights I've been staying at this Publix parking lot. It's like super quiet at night. And um, in the morning, because I like to you know patron the businesses that I stay at but dude there's so many Cubans here they have empanadas so mm, mm. I'm gonna take you and me and night and I'm gonna go to a park and make some coffee and get ready for my day and we are heading down to Key West today baby this is gonna be a gorgeous beautiful day so good morning the last two days I have uh, been hanging out at Sombrero Beach. Oh my God, I love it there. They had a shelter with electricity. And I think I got that on video. I'm not sure if I didn't, I apologize. But they have these beach shelters that uh, have electricity. So I, I finished editing my video there, threw it in the car, uploaded it, went and swam at the beach, hung out, met people. Um, my friend Alexander ended up uh, coming and finding me at the beach, so that was a sweet surprise. And he got a recommendation for a Cuban restaurant that we went to for snacks last night, and that was, oh, that was epic. I mean, the best tamale I've ever had in my life. Um, so he's taken off somewhere today. I am doing my thing. We might meet up down in Key West, and uh, we're, I'm going to take you on a, two surprise rides down there, you know, because you know me, van life isn't always in the van. What I'm looking for right now is just a nice, um, scenic, interesting spot to make a cup of coffee and take a look at my maps and some of the stuff that I want to see down in Key West today before I head out on the road because I want to direct myself right to, I think I'll go down the street right to some of the points that I want to see so that's what I'm doing you know I could get coffee to go but I'm always so horribly disappointed with it you know and for five dollars I don't want to drink a cup of shit do you guys agree okay leave a comment below okay let's find a spot I love driving around these back streets you just never know oh what do we got up here you never know what you're gonna find and of course, every time I park up and open my doors, people just come over and go, good morning, what are you up to here? And then we always have lovely conversations and, you know, oh, no, it looks like this is private, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Oh, look at this, what a beautiful, ah, I love the tropics. I love it down here. Okay, let's try another spot. This looks like a quirky and interesting spot to make a cup of coffee. Um, I know that in this area there is a seafood restaurant on the other side of the little inlet here, as well as they do tours. I mean, this looks like a big commercial fishing spot, so I'm just going to I'm going to turn around here. No fishing allowed. Okay, I'm not going to fish. There's a lot of traps and stuff like that, but. Dudes, I'm gonna just hang out here and make a cup of coffee. Why not, right? This looks like a good spot. Oh, it's on the water. There's a sunrise. Not gonna hang out here very long, so yeah.
It's drive through coffee <laughs> in Marathon in the Florida Keys. Oh, and there's fishing boats going out behind me. We'll just make a quick cup of coffee and then we'll head down to Key West. Oh, I almost need to take off my uh, my long sleeve t-shirt. It's already getting warm and it's just before eight o'clock. Island life, oh my God, I just love it. We got a film crasher. Looks like he's coming to get me. It's not drive through coffee, folks. Well, maybe I'm in his way for his trailer. Okay, time to make coffee. Coming in from fishing. Morning! <laughs> I love finding these little quirky spots to come in the morning and uh, just come for a minute to the end of these roads on the water and make my morning coffee. I have my cheesy <laughs> sun hat on. It's getting hot. I think today is going to be in the 80s. So excited to be going down to Key West. There's so many fun things to see down there and I'm going to take you with me. Coffee's ready. Isn't this a beautiful drive through Now that coffee's ready and I've got the Cuban pastries, let's go to Key West. Oh, I don't think I put enough cream in it. We need a tiny little bit more cream. Yep. Ugh. Sweet and blonde, just like me. Oh, 
Much better. Much better. Okay, now we can go. Well, I guess I should clean the I guess I should clean the French press first. Mm. Don't forget I've got uh, wooden stickers for sale. Um, information's in the description. Um, send nine dollars to my PayPal and your address and I'll send you a wooden sticker. This one's been on my mug for nine months. Mm. Good morning. I was just having a conversation with a nice man over here. So this, this whole point out here, this is a fish processing plant and those are all lobster traps. Oh my goodness. It's uh, becoming the end of the season. Luckily I got one of the delicious lobsters. There's a place here in Marathon that makes lobster Rubens, which sounds delicious. And their sign says they've made over 350,000. So when I come on my way back up, I will definitely stop there and get a lobster Reuben. But coffee's made, everything's cleaned up, and we're heading out now. Oh my goodness, it's turning into a really warm day. So something I like to do when I don't have pockets, which I don't in my little skirt today, is I'll clip my keys to my pearls that way I know where they are and I don't lose them so it's getting really warm I should take my my key largo hat off oh get my sunnies on got my coffee made here oceanside wasn't that wonderful mm. uh, have my Cuban pastries from Publix and we're heading down to Key West the last key do you guys love these quirky roadside <laughs> attractions? I'm gonna get my picture taken. decided this morning when I woke up that this day is going to be full of wonderful delights and surprises just like this little cutie pie. So I got to shake hands with that little manatee right there. and come out of the shark's mouth. Oh, okay, here we go. We are just about at the beginning of the seven mile bridge. This is the end of the marathon key. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. And we've got garbage camp. So one of the things I forgot to do this morning was throw my garbage out. And there we go. This is the beginning of the seven mile bridge and I thought we should go for a little walk on it because you can walk on it. And I need the exercise. Oh my goodness, and they have these picnic shelters here. I wonder if these ones have electricity like the ones did yesterday. But what a lovely place to come in the morning. But let's go for a walk on the bridge. If I'm going to be eating all these Cuban pastries that are so delicious, <laughs> I need to do more exercise. If you're curious about the history of this bridge, you can pause the video and enlarge it and read the writing about this. Got my high performance footwear on this morning for this big long walk and that's the bridge over there that I'll be driving down to Key West on maybe I should jog a little bit you know get that old blood pumping in the heart <sighs> Being that I'm sort of permanently on vacation or pr 
practicing retirement or something right now. I don't know. It is a Friday and uh, traffic is going to be really heavy on the seven mile bridge and as much as I want to walk this one, there's so many other things to see today and I need to get down to Key West. Let's go. I walked that times two this morning. So that's a pretty good little stretch so far. There'll be plenty more hikes and walks, but Seven Mile Bridge is gonna be super busy, so we gotta get on it and get going. It's pretty epic to see the Atlantic Ocean on this side and the Gulf of Mexico on this side. So like this island, islands, like divide both in half. So on one side, like in the morning, I could be on the Gulf of Mexico or in the afternoon be on the Atlantic side. So that's really cool. There is a difference in temperature too. Okay, so I made a stop on my way out of town. I'm actually just waiting for my friend Alexander to meet up with me here, but I stopped at this little, let me quilt you off the tripod here. This little roadside restaurant uh, in Marathon. It's called La Nina's. Oh my gosh! The pork tamales here are so good and I just got a Cuban coffee. <laughs> it's like rocket fuel. Ooh! It's gonna be a good day. It's just gonna be absolutely amazing. So this is my second cup of coffee and it's Cuban so <laughs> hopefully Alexander doesn't think I'm on crack or something. Okay we'll talk soon. Alexander has met up with us. He's in front. This is my first caravan in Florida. One well, no, of my second caravan in Florida because Kathy and Jose was the first one. We are heading over the seven mile bridge now. Let's go to Key West today, kids. That's where I was walking this morning was over on that side. Ugh, let's get you up off the tripod. Yep, that's the walk over there. So, and then here's the Atlantic side. Isn't that cool? Gulf of Mexico on that side. And Atlantic on this side. Woo wee, this is a long bridge. You see all the way, let me see if I can get you up there. Yeah, okay, I'll get you back on here. This is my friend Alexander here. So Alexander, I have this idea for us today now that we're in Key West. Yes. I know that you love kitties, right? I do. So the um, Ernest, Ernest Hemingway house, there's an entrance for you to get in there. But there's over 60 polydactyl kitties there that we can pet and hang out with. Well then let's do it. Let's do that. We can get our little <laughs> kitty love on our four-legged Exactly. Love. I miss kitties. Yeah, me too. Yes. We both, we both um, well he still has kitties back in his home, but I don't have a kitty anymore. But Look at this, we're in Key West, everyone. Oh my God. So yeah, let me put us into Google Maps and then we're gonna go down to Ernest Hemingway House and we're gonna get some kitty love. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> 